Hello, and welcome to your technique video for the preparation of aspirin and some flavoring esters lab. To stay safe this week, make sure that you are wearing your goggles at all times. You are working with some concentrated acid, so be really careful not to spill it on your skin. Wash anything that has been exposed for at least 15 minutes. When you go to smell anything, make sure you are wafting instead of directly inhaling from the container. When you add the acetic anhydride to the test tube, it must be a dry test tube or an accidental reaction could occur. Make sure you always keep the opening of the test tubes pointed away from people. Everything from this lab can be poured down the sink and you will save the aspirin that you make for next week's lab. Let's get started. The first thing you should do is weigh out about a gram of salicylic acid. You can place the test tube in a beaker to hold it upright just to make sure that you account for the extra mass. It's okay if it's not exactly a gram. Record the mass in your notebook. You will find the acetic anhydride in the fume hood. Obtain about 3.5 milliliters of acetic anhydride. This chemical can be dangerous, so make sure you are never pointing the open end of the test tube towards yourself or anyone else. Pour it into the test tube with the salicylic acid and add three or four drops of sulfuric acid. Then use a glass rod to mix it. It should slowly go from cloudy to clear as everything goes into solution. If it doesn't all dissolve after a few minutes of mixing, add one or two more drops of sulfuric acid and keep stirring. If it still doesn't dissolve, you should throw everything away and start over. Allow the reaction to proceed by letting the mixture stand for 10 minutes. While it is doing that, you can prepare an ice bath and put a small beaker of distilled water in it. At the end of the 10 minutes, place the test tube into the ice bath for 5 minutes. Once the solution is cool, add 5 milliliters of the chilled distilled water slowly, a half milliliter at a time, because remember the acetic anhydride can react violently with the water. Once all the water is added, chill the mixture in the ice bath for another 15 minutes. Aspirin crystals are expected to form within this time frame, but it might take a little longer. You should talk with your TA at this point if you don't see any crystals. We will isolate the aspirin crystals by using a Buchner funnel. Before you do this, determine the mass of a watch glass and record it in your notebook. We have used the Buchner funnel earlier in the semester, so if you don't remember how to use the funnel, review the Milk Lab video to refresh your memory. You will use portions of the chilled distilled water to wash out any remaining crystals from the test tube. Use small portions of the distilled water to wash the crystals. Continue to pull air through the sample until it is dry. While you are waiting, you can start working on exercise three. We'll get to that in just a second. Once the sample is dry, determine the mass of the crystals and record it in your notebook. Determine the percent yield by following the formula in the front of your lab manual. You will use this aspirin to perform tests both this week and next, so make sure you don't throw it away. Once you have your aspirin sample, you can move on to exercise two. You should work in parallel. One member of the group can work on the ferric chloride test while the other does the sodium bicarbonate test. For these tests, you will need a total of four test tubes. For each test, you will place less than 0.25 grams of your aspirin in one test tube and less than 0.25 grams of the stock aspirin in the other test tube. To perform the ferric chloride test, use 5 to 10 drops of ethanol to dissolve the solid in each of the test tubes. Add 4 milliliters of distilled water and mix the contents of each test tube. You will then add 3 drops of the ferric chloride solution. Compare the aspirin you made to the stock aspirin. For the sodium bicarbonate test, add 1 to 2 milliliters of sodium bicarbonate solution to each of the two test tubes and dissolve the solids. Shake the test tubes from side to side. The formation of large bubbles indicates the presence of an acid. Compare the aspirin you made to the stock aspirin. Exercise 3 should be done while you are waiting for your aspirin to completely dry. To make the esters, put 1 to 2 milliliters of acetic acid in a test tube, then add 1 to 2 milliliters of the unknown alcohol. Add 3 to 5 drops of sulfuric acid to the mixture, then place it in a hot water bath for about 5 minutes. Add sodium bicarbonate to help remove the odor of any remaining acetic acid. 
Keep adding small amounts until the bubbles no longer appear when you add it. Use your hand to waft the vapors towards your face so that you can smell the ester that you've created. You should prepare a total of four esters and compare what you smell to the chart in your lab manual to try to identify what esters you made. That's all for this week's technique video and I will see you all next week.